this crowd is electric again tonight here in the quarry. And what a show last week. There's so many questions that we need answered tonight on Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. We're going to find out exactly who attacked Simboni and who that stranger was. We're going to get those answers here tonight. And then uh, Marty Cassis looking to seek some revenge on Brew as well here this evening on Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. And the Billionaire Boys Club, our new tag team champions, they're going to offer Smoke and Mirrors their rematch here. We're going to look at that, see how that goes here later tonight. Montvito versus Southside Sammy. Will the Don collect, well, you know, will he collect here tonight at Rocky Mountain Pro Charge? And we got a big announcement from Remy D himself. So we're going to hear from him. So we got a big wait. You don't have to wait any longer for to, that. Not at all. Speak of the devil. The number one contender for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship, rightfully so, by the way, having a celebration crash last week. Remedy making his way to the ring, and look, D'Lo Brown in tow. D'Lo Brown behind, I, I, would, I would assume it's his new protege, Remy D, saying last week that he's seen a lot of who he was when he was Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your number one contender for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship alongside D'Lo Brown, Remy D. Somebody that doesn't look like a champion there, Tony. I mean, he just looks like a champion. He looks like the face that can run this place and be the representative to make everybody watch Rocky Mountain Pro. You might disagree on how I call stuff, but Remy D is the consummate athlete. Damon Ace. I ain't wasting not one more second. Tonight, I'm cashing in my shot. The same shot that I whipped that punk ass Mercury Yaten for. Tonight, Damon, the time is now. The place is here. So come on down, I'm taking that RMP title from around your waist. Let's go. Wow. We Rocky Mountain Pro Champion, Remy D is cashing in his number one contendership right now. Why wait for the inevitable? This is going to happen here tonight. Well, Big Rob, you said that he is the face, future face that's running that place. The future might be tonight. Although, Ladies and gentlemen, honest, your Rocky so Mountain Pro Champion, the weapon, Damon right here right now we are about to see history tonight that's there right. will be a brand new rmp champion and his name will be remy d i've been telling him that i've been telling him that d lo they've been telling him that all night i've been telling him the d stands for damn it he's going to be champion tonight that's what the d stands for you're just going to throw me under the bus like that. I've been telling you for two weeks. Don't act like it's not news. You know I love Remy D. And that's what it's all about right there, folks. The Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. Remy D versus the weapon, Damon Ace. And we're getting started right here, right now. First episode of Charged. First match of the night. Wow. I can't. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Dustin Yurick. Look, Is he coming it, our way? He's coming this way. I better dust off his seat here. Dustin Yurick making his way let me over hold, here to let the, let the, me hold the Let me hold the champ's belt. I'll keep this fresh for Remy here, D'Lo. We are joined here at commentary by the vulture, Dustin Yurick. Dustin Yurick, welcome to, welcome to commentary. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, you were just saying something about keep that belt warm for Damon Ace. Is that what you're no, saying? No, 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 no. For, 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 for Remy D, because he's about to win. Remy D. That, that, oh. no. To be fair, I did say that before I knew you'd be sitting next to me. Very large, scary-looking fellow your own there. Mr. Oh, Fulcher. Remy D going on the attack series of strikes to Damon Ace. Remy D on the offense in the face of the ref. Let me ask you this. If he does pull it off tonight, does your match change to Remy D? 
or are you still one-on-one -on -one with Damon Ace? Look, it doesn't matter. I came back for two reasons. I came back to get Damon Ace to beat the hell out of him, and I came back for my Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. In case you guys forgot, I'm the one who held that belt longer than anybody. Oh, we don't forget. You tell us quite often. And you know what? As you should, that's something to rally about. I think that that's a fantastic statistic. I mean, hey, I'm the only one who can say that, right? You so, are the only one until Remy D gets a hold of this I, championship. No, no, no until. And Remy D showing his tenacity here. Great defensive maneuvering by Remy D, able to turn the tide of this match and going on the offense. Snap, here, takedown by Remy D, going back to the attack on the weapon, Damon. Ace got him measured up. Big knee to the face. Let me tell you what the D stands for, boys, right now. He is destroying Damon Ace right now. That's what he's doing in this match. Hey, if he can destroy Damon, I have no problem destroying Remy. I'm equal opportunity, so whatever you got. An equal opportunity, what would you call that, ass kicker? An yeah, right. e, in, in e, e equal EOA. Hey, the vulture goes after Whatever prays in front of him. Remy D on him. the offense, full head of steam. Oh. oh! Smashing Damon Ace's head right into that second third buckle. The D tonight, boy, stands for dominance in Remy D. He is dominating this match. I can't deny that, Big Rob. Remy D is all over the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion. We might see a change of hands here tonight. Remy D, an excellent reversal by Damon Ace. Sidewalk slam, cover, leg hook. And Remedy kicking out. So it's a little better seat out here than you had last week up in the stands at Charged. Glad to be sitting here at ringside. I won't even charge you to sit here. Hey, I appreciate that. You know, it is a lot better. I belong in that ring, but right now, if I can't be in the ring, I'll be right here watching. You know, I'm a big suplex by Damn. Damon Ace. Cover. And Damon Ace just rubbing his hand in the face and able to reverse it into a lapel lock. Wrenching back on the chin. Oh, fish hooking the lips oh. of Remy D. Oh, Look at that. No. Brutal. Tony, get in there and do something. That's not how this is supposed to be going. I don't, they don't, they do not pay me enough, Big Rob. Well, we talked about this earlier, that if Remy was in trouble, you were going to be the one to step in and help. I, I, I thought that was you. You were the one saying that he was the next best no, no, thing. No, 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 because I'm here with the vulture, and I got to make sure that he's fed and watered while he's sitting here at ringside with us. He's the longest reigning Rocky Mountain Pro Champion in history. That's right. You don't want me cranky because you see what happens in that ring. <laughs> Well, I don't want you coming after me. Even though, I, listen, I am a I am a Remy D fanatic. I have all of his T-shirts. Remy D trying to trying to mount an offense here, but Damon A shutting it down right quick, going for it, uh, a sleeper hole. But Remy D able to position himself and reverse on it, and big slam by Remy D going for an armbar, adding pressure, adding insult to injury, wrenching back. Maybe he'll get a tap here by Damon Ace. I mean, he's bringing it to him, I gotta admit. He is definitely bringing it to him tonight, wow. But you know what? You know who would do that better? Me. Well, you know what? If you wouldn't attack and ring announcers, this might be you right now. Well, I mean, hey, if somebody gets in my way, what happens? Let's go, come on. And well, I'm not gonna be next on your list, so I'm just gonna let you say whatever you need to say tonight. All right. And Remy, Remy D using leverage on that arm bar and able to look at the pressure that he's putting back. Your arm is not supposed to bend like that. But listen, you you are in the you are a past historic reign of champion. But I gotta tell you, Vulture, this is the future we're looking at right here in Remy D. This oh, big spine buster, folks. We'll be back with more action. Stay tuned. Wrestling, wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connects emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Power and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Folks, we are back with Rocky Mountain Pro Championship action here. Damon Ace taking on Remy D. Remy D cashing in his number one contendership, and he has been taking it to the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion. And Damon Ace, and we're joined at ringside by the Vulture, Justin York as well. 
You should introduce him properly as the longest reigning Rocky Mountain Pro Champion in history. That's Justin Eric the Vulture. Don't ever forget that. Oh, big maneuver by Remy D. But he a... has the champ rocked. Cover made. Leg hooked. That, oh! For a second there, that D was standing for done, Tony. Dustin, D-O-N-E. Remy D just a breath away from being the new Rocky Mountain Pro Champion. But now he's going, he's going up to that top rope. He is in no man's land. And he has Damon Ace in his sights. And he is up and Damon oh, Ace no. the way at the last second. Oh, Remy. And I tell you what, you see that? that he crashed and burned right there. If the vulture went up for my flying, I wouldn't be missing that. You know, you do fly better than anybody I've ever seen fly before. I'll give you that saying. much. I, I do mean, a lot of he is around. a vulture. Hey, I do a lot of things around here better than anybody, and especially hold that belt. And Remy D trying to get to a vertical base, but big drop kick by the weapon. And Remy D is staggered, but he's on that third turnbuckle. Huge back elbow by the weapon, and he has Remy D rocked. Yeah. Snapmare takedown, kick to the oh, back. Oh, man. And a drive to the knee, into the chest. Two, three, oh! Was that a three? No, it looks like it was, it, it didn't get any closer than that big that Rob. That I that thought was, it was a three crowd for sure. That was two and three quarters, boys. Two and three quarters. Damn it doesn't get a whole lot closer than that. That was damn close. Both these men are taking it to one another. Both near pinfalls by both of these athletes. Damon Ace going right back to the attack. Got Remy D onto the ropes. Ref trying to get some control oh. here. Forearm shots to the chest. Brutal. Hey, you know, the more they beat each other up, the easier I got it. Big back elbow by Remy D. You know, I say a lot, whatever it takes, you got to take advantage of opportunities and situations like that. So, so you're not wrong. Close line and out right. goes Damon Ace onto the floor right in front of our desk here. That's right. And Remy D going back to the attack uh -oh. and driving him oh. right to that ring post head first. Remy D, second I don't time know. right into the ring post. I know you do things better than a lot of people, but I think he takes that ring post to the head better than anybody in Rocky Mountain. Pro. Man, I love to see it. I, we can do that again. That's fine with me. Where's no. Remy going here? It looks like. Oh, no. Oh, uh. no. Remy has Tory. This is not good. Remy has Remy, got a Remy, hold of Tory. Do not get disqualified, Remy. Do not get disqualified, Remy. No. The ref, the ref sees it. But uh, oh! Another cheap oh, shot. No! Tory almost oh, man, hit you. On. Another plain abuse of power. Mercury Yaden. Oh. Mercury Yaden taking this out match and has oh, ended oh, no. in a no contest. Yaden has now. Yaden has Tory. Tory is getting passed around tonight. Again, another blatant abuse of power by the boss here at Rocky Mountain Pro. And he is taking it to Remy D. Remy D. Who knows? He, we could have had a new Rocky Mountain Pro champion, but Mercury Yaden taking out Remy D, essentially ruining any chance that he has to win the Rocky Mountain and, Pro. And beating him with a loafer. Like, really, rich owners got to take their shoes right. off and, and beat up people they don't like? Whatever you got to do to get the job done, that's what you got to do in that ring. I know that as much as anybody else. Oh, oh no. Dow has got Tori. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Mercury getting a kick to the midsection. Able to disarm D'Lo Brown. Oh, no. Mercury, don't do it. Hey, you know what, guys? This has been fun and all, but, you know, I think I need a closer look at the action over here. Oh, well, I guess, you know, pleasure pleasure having me a vulture, I guess. And Mercury Yaden taking out the competition here, but it... Is he helping him up right now? Yeah, it looks like Damon up. Ace. Oh! oh! We got suckered into that. Damon Ace taken out by Dustin Urich. There's so much going on. That's oh. not yours. Oh my God. We gotta go. Oh we gotta get out of here. We'll be back. Oh my goodness. Rocky Mountain Pro, Ashley Vox, the real catch has arrived. And I'm not here to just make a name for myself. I'm here to make a statement to the woman's locker room. 
because at the end of the day, I got the bait and somebody's getting hooked. After Rocky Mountain Pro charged and all the exciting Mile High events, it's time to get wicked smart and watch the dudes and belts break it all down on our weekly recap show, Recharged. Coming in hot every week, the Coastal Crusader, referee Maki Pins, and the Encyclopedia Lucas Bradwell go for the ride with host Johnny Death Drop as we analyze and speculate on all the great Rocky Mountain action. Tune in each week on Twitch. I'm going to try to get a word with D-Law. I got to find out what is going on here. So I'm, let's, wait a minute. Wait. Jesus. It's locked. This is Rocky Mountain Pro Journalist with an exclusive interview with Lola, who has been pressuring me for this interview for weeks now. So... All right, you wanted this interview time, so let's talk about it. What is your issue with Mo interrupting her interview a few weeks ago? Remember that this is an interview about me? Can you please stick to the questions that, you know, you and Preston talked about? That I would really what, appreciate Is that. he holding me that to that? Okay, fine. Let's talk about your athletic background that I had no idea that you had an athletic background in gymnastics. I've known you for five years. How did I never know about this? Did you see this gold medal? You see it? Yeah, it's got your name on it. Yes, it says Lola the Adventure. I earned it. Okay? okay. I earned it being in the Olympic team for gymnastics for Peru. The Peruvian gymnastic team. Yes. Yes. They won gold? I won gold. So. Uh, well, okay. So tell me about your training then. Where were you training here for the Olympics? Was this in Peru? Was this at the Olympic Training Center? Yeah, it was at the Olympic Training Center. And I worked hard. I worked really hard to be the best. And guess what? You, yeah, you're supposed to say what? Okay, okay, what? I won. I won the gold medal. Unlike, you know, some some people, but I mean, do you wanna, do you wanna hold it? Um, I guess if you would like me to. No. Only I can hold it. Like. This medal means so much to me. You have no idea how hard I worked for this. Ah! Kevin, we got major news going on. There's mob stuff happening here at Rocky Mountain Pro. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Southside Sammy's right in that restroom. Come on. Let's go. In the bathroom, Lucas. <laughs> yeah, where else would you get a story? It's what journalists do. Southside Sammy, Lucas Bradwell, Rocky Mountain Pro journalist, CMS. What's going on? Hey, well, I gotta ask you, what's going on? $37,000 owed to the Don? How, how do you get yourself that far in debt with some somebody that powerful? Hey, let me tell you, I was in New York and I heard him quickly. So I asked him, I was like, hey, can I go ahead and get 37 grand? And he's like, I, I got you. And then you know what I did? I took that and I flipped that because that's what I do. I run these streets. He don't know who I am. And you know what? You know what? I have women who told me about the dom. It's like, oh, he can't get it up. He has ED. I didn't know what ED was until I looked it up. And um, he couldn't get it up. I, so, hey, um, it is what it is. It's me. Oh, I can't get it. I just got that up, didn't I? I'll get your hands off me. Huh? Again. Oh. What did I tell you? I didn't want to talk stuff. Oh. 
Again. And you want to go again. Down. No bruises, no marks. Nothing in the face. Oh. Always in the ribs. You got that? Yes, sir. Good. Now, you just went up to 39000 You got the money, don't you? And if you don't pay me, I'm going back home. And you know what's going to happen to your mom and her little house and your brothers and sisters, right? They're going to be on the street. And why? Because you're a no-good bum who didn't pay his debt. Now, you know what I'm talking about? Oh! Oh! I'm going to see you in the ring when they take you out this. Get out of here. Get out of here. And what the hell are you looking at? I'm just... No, you just what, you stuttering prick? Huh? Come here. What'd you say? I didn't... What'd you say? I didn't, you say? I didn't see you say? You didn't see anything. You didn't see You see that? You see that? Want to drink that? No. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here. Please, no. No, no. Please don't watch, huh? Now, you go around and tell everybody, okay? They done Big Vito LaGrasso's here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm learning things. I got casinos, I got hotels, I got card games, I got everything we need. And I'm gonna take this place and make it my own. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So you can get the word around. I got you. Okay? Yes, sir. And whoever dresses you, slap them in the face. Oh, you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think you too. Oh. Oh. You got it? Yes, sir. Good, let's get out of here. Gentlemen, we are back. Big Rob. What about Ooh. the Don there? Don, the Don got some words. It looks like Southside Sammy might own a little bit of money. I, I, I was getting a, a text. I'm not going to talk about what I was getting a text about, but it may or may not have something to do with Vito. I'm going to get it figured out, okay? I'm going to get it figured out. Well, we got the Billionaire Boys Club and our, our tag team champion. Please, please welcome your Rocky Mountain Rays on how much I get, obviously. I might break you off a piece, but when you're a billionaire like these guys, it doesn't even matter. Billionaire Boys Club out here. Look at that physique. For bald men everywhere, man. Salute. Give him the mic, Tony. Now it's Tony's turn. <laughs> what an amazing night so far here rocking on Pro Charge. I still can't get over the fact Remy D getting essentially screwed out of his championship match tonight. I thought it was your turn. It must have been my turn to get. Yeah, they, I thought somebody was going to come handle that. I don't know what's going on. Your mom and, oh, you're old. Your daughter loves Mr. Clean. Just. For weeks, months, I don't know how long, how long we've been here. It doesn't matter because we have told you idiots, you idiots, and you idiots the same thing. When you look like stars, you act like stars, you talk like stars, people treat you like stars, and you become champions every and anywhere that you go. But we're philanthropists, not just Billionaire Boys Club. So smoke and mirrors, here's your rematch. Come out here, boys and see if you can take the man's title back. They're calling out Smoke and Mirrors for a rematch, and of course, the Billionaire Boys Club was able to win the Tag Team Champion, but only because Cushman was incapacitated, but hats off to Mick Diamond showing, uh, having a hell of a showing, or essentially a handicap match for the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champion. Looks like he's coming out here again by himself. Well, it's nice of him to give him a like a rematch. You were complaining so much last week that, you know, it, it was unfair, and here we are. The rematch tonight? Tonight. That's what I said. Man, man, you know as well as I do that Cushman is still injured. So that rematch is not happening tonight. Not tonight. Well, guess what? Sometimes life ain't fair, and if you want a rematch for these tag team championships, 
You have one chance, you have one opportunity, and that is right now. We doing this again? <laughs> You're really messing with my zen here, man. All right, let me tell you. Zen? <laughs> Some of us have to work for what we want. And I don't know if you two know what that's like. You thought this was just gonna be easy, that I would roll over and let you win, and I'd walk out of this building and let you have everything on a silver platter, just like everything you've ever had in life. Is that what you thought? Yep, yes. that's pretty much it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we eat off silver platters. Well, that ain't happening. Oh. Not tonight, didn't happen at Shocktober, not now, not ever. It did happen at Shocktober. So we're doing this. Some might call me stupid, yep. some might call me brave, but I'm getting in this ring and fighting both of you right here, right now. <laughs> For Cushman's honor. What? Not again. Mick Diamond taking on point, both of the Billionaire Boys Club in an, another handicap match. Mick Diamond. I don't really know what he's thinking right now. I mean, he couldn't beat him by himself last time. The guy's got heart, but he ain't got many brains. Well, this is going to be another crazy handicap match here tonight, just so you can complain a little more. Way to go, double duty in it there. Don't take the belts there, Tony. These are not made for us. Those belts are insanely heavier than they look. But the weight of those belts here on this match here tonight, Mick Diamond in a, in a handicap match for the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Championship. Mick Diamond showing some great offense here at the beginning. Reversal by Class. Sunset flip by Mick Diamond trying to get some leverage, trying to get the pinfall, but tag made by Class. Reno is the legal man. He's kicked to the back of the shoulders, and Reno is going bananas on Mick Diamond. Going for the cover, and Mick Diamond kicking out just past the count of one. You know, I said it earlier, lots of uh, heart, not a lot of brains here tonight to try to do this again. We saw how this ended last time. And Mick Diamond is on the receiving oh. end of a devastating suplex by Devin Reno. Well, Reno does this better than most. I mean, he, he, he's, he's, uh, he's great for us bald men everywhere. He makes us look really good. Tag made. Class is the legal man. And oh. Right onto the attack. And cover made. Two. And Mick Diamond kicking right out. Going right back onto the attack is Class. But folks, we have got more action. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So stay tuned. Rocky Mountain Pro is pro wrestling elevated. See all of your favorite stars and lockets from the Rocky Mountain region when we bring you action like nowhere else. The region's only weekly television series. Witness the hard-hitting, high-flying, exciting, and fast-paced action that Rocky Mountain Pro brings and see why Rocky Mountain Pro continues to grow the landscape. Get your tickets now at rmpwrestling.com. And we are back, folks, and oh. the Billionaire Boys Club taking on Mick Diamond solo, no Cushman, in a candy cap match for the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions. That entire commercial break, the Billionaire's Boys Club, they, they, they just showed why they're the champs tonight because they were taking it to Mr. Diamond the entire time. They are the champs because they beat a single man, not a tag team. Well, he's trying again tonight, so, I mean, it's kind of his fault. Tag made. Class is the legal man. Going on to the attack and a rake to the back by Class on the Mick Diamond. You, you know, they say diamonds are forever, oh! but he might not last past tonight, Tony. This might be it for him. Early retirement. Going up against the Billionaire Boys Club. Big shoulder tackle, big elbow to the face of Mick oh, Diamond. Smack Mare takedown. Going for the cover. Two. I mean, but clearly the billionaire money has bought them the, the best wrestling training you could buy. I mean, they're phenomenal athletes there, Tony. And they deserve to be the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions. I'm not going to deny their athleticism, but, you know, can they really consider themselves the Tag Team Champions? They only went up against one half of the Tag Team Champions. But, oh, look at this. Almost got a pinfall there. Another one. He got him stacked. 
McDiamond with a series of pinfall attempts, but Class right back on the offensive, stopping that right there. Slap to the face. Oh, man. Sunset oh. flip. And now, oh, tag made. Oh. McDiamond able to reverse that, and Reno accidentally kicking Class. And that has changed the momentum into McDiamond's favor. Well, let the guy, you know, uh, what does it say? The sun shines on a dog's ass every now and again. That's kind of what we're seeing right here. McDiamond moving out of the way. Class got a splash onto Reno. Series of strikes to the oh, midsection. No. McDiamond going Look up out, to the guys. second row. Look out, guys. He's up. Cross body block onto both Reno and Class. Both men down. McDiamond is on fire. Could There's, Mick Diamond actually pull this off this and grab the he cover? Cannot. New, oh, nope. we almost had a new champ. But almost doesn't count. What is it? Oh, Horseshoes no. and hand grenades, Tony. Oh, it's no. over. Now, oh. now it's over. One, One two, two, three. three. Ring that bell. it take to stay on top you know, do what wait, it takes wait look at this look who it is what is who it's Derek Stone Derek Stone coming to the rescue of Big Diamond and looking it looks like he's got a diamond on his jacket there look at that what a save by Derek Stone yeah right at the perfect time too you know figures the guy can handle him by himself he's got to get help from the back I mean Mind you, who accepted the match tonight, Tony? He accepted. Mick Diamond, he, 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 Mick accepted the match. And he said it at the top, you know, maybe more courage than brains or more brains than courage, but who knows? But we got Derek Stone making the save here. Very impressive. Another amazing match here on Rocky Mountain Pro Charge, live from the quarry in Jefferson County Fairgrounds. All right, well, we got more action, folks, so stick around. We'll be back. Gentlemen, you know time is money. Why? Why are we here in this dirty ass place? We can oh, get the office. I got espressos. Oh, come on, Preston. You, 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 you taught us about discretion, right? I did, of course. You also, you also taught us about no witnesses. What? What you talking about? Whoa. Hey, hey, Johnny, get, Johnny, get him off. Whoa, oh, oh, relax, Johnny. Preston. You relax. 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 What? Relax, sweetheart. Relax. You're lucky that it's not me holding you up like that. What? What? What do you mean? <laughs> what is this about? I don't know what this is about. What is this about, guys? What is this about? Hey, is this about the prosecutor? Are you guys still mad about that? No, no, no. You guys don't get to be mad about that. Let me tell you what, okay? Let me let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. Can we, can we get him off me? No. Can we get him off me? Let me explain. No, 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 no. Go okay. ahead. Go on. Look. <laughs> You guys made me look bad, all right? You guys made me look bad. I was doing business. I was doing good things for everyone. Look and I come back, I come back, and you guys signed a contract in a purple folder. Why a purple folder? To what, to what, to play with Marty in a bounce house? I was, I was gone doing great things. What business were you doing? You didn't even tell us. You're supposed to tell us everything. I wanted to. It was, it was good stuff, let me tell you. It was good stuff. But at the end of the day, man, let me tell you, okay? It, business is business, and this this isn't good business. Are you here? Oh, hey, oh, 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 Johnny, are you, are you okay, buddy? Are you uh, hurt? Come on, uh, come on, look, look. Let me explain something to you, okay? Look. Oh. 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 Gentlemen. I hate to see you come to this. When you two helped your little buddy get out of his contract, I had to make a really difficult decision to release both of you of your contracts. I wish you luck on your future endeavors. You believe me? 
Right. Are you even on the show tonight? No. 11 years in the business and they couldn't even put me on the show. Disrespectful. What does it take to be a professional? Money. And I'm not making money if I'm not booked in the show. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, D-Lo? I'm going to the locker room. Hey, what's going on here? We ain't on the show tonight. Sorry, bro. The show's a show. Bro, bro, is it because I'm black? Is that why you're doing this? Ninja, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ninja, please, what? What does that even mean? Oh. Man, I gotta make some money around here. Oh, 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 oh. I heard you both. Y'all looking for some work tonight? Uh, yeah. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that pay? Yeah, you make some money, I got you. Then you damn right. Come with me, come with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Charge. Tony Nomad here with you, and what a match we have here. We have got Big Mott Vito in action here with Southside Sammy. And Southside Sammy making his way to the ring here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Into the first, Southside Sammy. Southside Sammy very impressed with what he has here. But he's been seeing what he's had lately. But, but hey, look who's, look who's joining me here, Vince Russo himself. Welcome to the party, Vince. Oh, God, this God thing. He, it it looks like you got there. This, bro. It, 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 I, I set that up to, to, to make you look bad, Vince. My bad. Pilot to tower, pilot to tower. Hey. Can you hear me, bro? Hey. You know, you know why these headsets are screwed up? Because Big Rob's got a freaking enormous watermelon head, and I want to know where did he go, bro? Where Big Rob to Bucky's? Did he go to Bucky's for a ham sandwich in the middle of the show? I can't tell you. But hey, here, here's your guy here, Vince. Know how much you love Don Vito, bro. And look at the Don, bro. Look at the Don, man. Coming into straight up uh, Mount Vito, bro. Cleaned him up real nice. Gregory Rice locked into this pound and he catches all of it. World prettiest elbow you saw here on Charge. And the ring couldn't even take the impact. No. Listen, man, uh, Mount Vito is going to be put to the test here tonight. And I got to tell you, bro, with the Don ringside, he better deliver, bro, or else there's going to be a price to pay. But don't discount Southside Sammy. Southside Sammy definitely a force to be reckoned with. Amazing athlete, but he's got to get past. He's got to climb the mountain here. But I got to tell you, the mountain does look a lot more serious from what we've seen in the past, bro, he looks like he's got a brand new attitude. When you got Big Vito in your corner, you got to take it seriously, especially with a guy like Big Vito and, you know, giving you these pointers, making it so you can be a competitor here at Rocky Mountain. I mean, he changed his attire. He took a bath, bro. Yeah, he is nice and clean. You know, maybe a little under on deodorant. He is looking pretty dapper. But I got to tell you, man, I would not want to be in the shoes of Southside. Bro, he owes the Don 37 grand, bro. 12 of that is a big. You know what a big is, bro? Tony, I, you know what a big is? I have no idea. The interest, bro, the interest. There's interest. It's the big, the big. And Southside Sammy, big clothesline onto Montvito. Huge. Forearm strike. He got a lot of height on that one. He got a lot of height on that, and I don't think right now the, the, the Dawn likes what he's seeing right now. Oh! oh! Awesome clothesline by Southside. Sammy quick to go for the cover. Two. Bro, look at the Dawn standing on the ramp, staring at Mount Vito, bro. Look at him, man. He has not moved a muscle since he's gotten out here. Oh, and Sammy's rubbing it in. I, oh! See, I don't know if I'd be doing that if I was Sammy, bro. I'd take this W and get out of Dodge. 
and Montvito driving the head of Southside Sammy to the top turnbuckle. And strike to the midsection. Look at Vito. Vito looking on at his investment in Montvito. Look at this big scoop slam pointing to Big Vito as Montvito. Yeah. Like, this is for you. He's looking for the approval, bro. He's looking for the approval of the Don. Jawbreaker by Southside. Sammy has bought Montvito staggered. Oh, look at the strength of Montvito catching Southside. Sammy oh. driving him into the canvas. And Southside Sammy. Look at this. Look at this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. Santos. Santos and Logan? Wow. And they got out of there quick before Big Vito got in there. Yeah, but I don't think that's the way the Don wanted him to win that match. I think he wanted some punishment to be served to Sammy, and I don't think he got it. Look at that. Oh, man. Big Vito not happy. I'm telling you, bro, you can't let down the boss, bro. You can't disappoint the boss. If you were Italian, Tony, you would understand that, bro. You can't let down the boss. Unfortunately, I am not Italian. Uh, maybe a little bit Canadian, but, you know, that's a different story. I mean, he gave Mount Vito, he gave him marching orders, bro, and he didn't see those orders through. But what, you know, what How? What can he do? He's got two guys jumping in from outside. There's only so much that he can do. And, whoa, he pointed over. Is he pointed at you, Russo? Looks like he's pointed at you. Uh-oh. I don't, th I, don't, I don't think that Don is going to appreciate the veto chant. What a matchup here, but unfortunately, Southside Sammy picking up the win, and Big Vito just showing his displeasure. Disgusted. That's, that's a look of disgust, Tony. Well, folks, We'll be back with more action, so stay tuned. Yeah, he was on the loose, man. We need to get him out of here. I need him on the way out of here. Dealer, 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 dealer. I'm in, a, I'm in a suit. I'm ready for work. Whatever uh -huh. you need, need of me. Yeah. Whatever opportunities you have for me, I'm your guy. You name it, I'm it. You know. You might be the right guy. Officially, officially, okay. today, going forward, you have positioned this company. You're the new full-time FTS. Uh, uh, FTS? Yeah, yeah, full-time student. Ah, but, so, full-time student. So you, so you mean? Exactly. Like, Bravo, Rocky Mountain Pro Journalist, CMS. I'm here to talk about what happened at Shocktober. After your match with Marty Casaus, you clotheslined him after, after the match was over. I, I, I know you're the NRW champion, but that's not really how a champion is supposed to act. All's fair in love and war, Lucas. I'm done being Mr. Nice Guy. When has Brew ever been a nice guy? Wrestling, wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connects emotionally with people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Power and elbow. The wrestling brand. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Well, I'm back, and apparently I mean, Rob is too. Obviously, I'm, he, I'm I'm physically sitting here right now. The following oh, contest is for the NRW Championship. 
Introducing first, the challenger from Salt Lake City, Utah, weighing in at 245 pounds, Martin the Moth Cassell! Well, frankly, where I've been doesn't really concern unless some, was somebody asking where I was, or it wasn't Vito, was it? Wait. No, no, we're really close friends, and what if he texted you concerned that I wasn't here? Like, I just want you to let him know that, you know, don't let him know where I was. Well, you'll be you'll be happy to know I didn't get no text, so I think, you, I think you're still in the clear. You know, then we don't need to talk about it anymore. And quite frankly, it's none of your business where I've been. I'm a grown-ass man, okay? I'm an adult. If I need to go wherever I need to go, I gotta go. Big Rob at the Alibi, but we got NRW action here right now. The Buffalo Brew, and we saw him in the back with D'Lo Brown. Right before and it. your NRW champion, Kelly from Montbello, Colorado, winning it at 300 pounds, Buffalo the Buffalo Brew in the back earlier with D'Lo Brown, but unable to see what that was all about before D'Lo kicked the cameraman out, but it looks like D'Lo Brown's got himself a new lackey with Jason Bravo. That's going to be an interesting yeah. dynamic there. You know, what if I was back there, like, you know, just making sure everything was good with D'Lo? Like, you don't know where I was or what I was doing. You're, you're being really defensive right now. Can you just do your job and call this match, please, and I'll do my job and ring the bell. I'm doing my job. You weren't doing yours of being on color earlier. Well, I got the bell. That's all I know, and I'm back, okay? And we are on NRW Championship action. Marty the Moth Casals going against Buffalo Brew, and Marty the Moth has had a thorn in his side as of recent with the prosecutor. As these two lock up, I can't help but think that, you know, is he lurking somewhere in the back? Yeah, you were in the back there. Maybe you could tell me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see anybody that wasn't supposed to be back there. And you weren't back there because you're not supposed to be back there. So you were right You were right to be out here. We're not welcome in the back, Tony. And these two behemoths tying up a show of strength. Looked like they were going a little bit back and forth. Look at that smirk on Bruce's face. He's excited about this match. Seems like Marty seems a little bit excited himself. And these two behemoths locking up one more time. And kind of an even show of strength with these two. And headbutt by the Moth onto the Buffalo. Buffalo Brew seems unfazed. Not one bit. Not one bit phased. Oh. And whip to the ropes. Shoulder tackle. Down goes the Moth. The brew is in full control. And we got the cover. Two. You know, Mar Marty Casals kicking out. He doesn't have what it takes to beat Buffalo Brew here tonight. I mean, it's what it comes down to. Brew's a, brew's a brute. Have you ever worked out with that guy before? First of all, he has a, drinks a lot of protein, okay? So don't stand behind him. He is a Buffalo. It's reason number two not to stand behind him. But he is a brute in the ring. That's for sure, Tony. And Brew, it's all Brew right now. Marty the Moth in pain, and Buffalo Brew just fish hooking. Marty Casales and the ref trying to get some control here and break it up right before the five count. Huge elbow drop by the Buffalo. He's got the leg hooked. And a kick out right before three. Marty Casales is reeling right now. Trying to mount a little bit of offense. Kick to the midsection. Looks like Marty. Oh, big slap. No. Rue trying to answer back, but Marty ducking, answering it right back. Another duck, another slap. A second slap. Marty Casales is in control to the ropes. Full steam ahead. Big clothesline. Buffalo Brew shutting Marty down. You know what the old hook and reel is, okay? He hooked him there, letting him think that he had a chance to beat him. And as soon as he thought he had it, Brew steps back up and gives him a monster clothesline. Marty the Moth kicking out at two. And Buffalo Brew has Marty the Moth. Has Casales just reeling. Buffalo Brew is being dominating. 
well, you know, here tonight in this NRW championship match. If you had to pin a buffalo versus a moth, which one would you have your money on, to be quite honest, Tony? Uh, depending on the moth. Depending on the moth. If that moth was Marty, I would be going for Marty. I don't know, man. Are you on Marty's payroll? Well, maybe I need to be asking you more questions. Are you asking about being on people's payroll? Is that really what we're going here? But listen, you started asking me questions. I thought fair is fair. I've got a match to call here. We got these two men just trading a series of slaps to the face. Oh, and the brew gets the bigger. Oh, and he got some height on that slap. That does not feel good. Don't ask me how I know. To the vertical face, both of these athletes, double clothesline. Both of them are out. But, but folks, we'll be back with more action on this NRW Championship match, so stay tuned. Rocky Mountain Pro is pro wrestling elevated. See all of your favorite stars and lockets from the Rocky Mountain region when we bring you action like nowhere else. The region's only weekly television series. Witness the hard-hitting, high-flying, exciting, and fast-paced action that Rocky Mountain Pro brings and see why Rocky Mountain Pro continues to grow the landscape. Get your tickets now at rmpwrestling.com. All right, folks, we are back, and what a matchup. We have NRW Championship action. The Buffalo Brew take on Marty the Moth Casals, and what a match have we had. Oh! Marty Mother Moth catch him with a clothesline, the cover, but his foot's on the rope. The ref telling him he has to break up the pinfall. Yeah, this match was full of action during that last break. These two had just been beating a snot out of each other, as we assumed they would. And Marty the Moth in control right now, driving Buffalo Brew into the turnbuckle. Series of strikes to the midsection. A face strike, that's got to hurt. Full right on. Good duck under by Brew. Shoulder tackle, down goes Marty. You don't get in the way of the Buffalo, baby. Buffalo Brew showing why he has been a dominant NRW champion. This crowd trying to, they're they're all like you there. You hear them trying to get, get behind Marty the Moth there, cheering from the Rocky Mountain Pro crowd at the Croix here tonight. And oh no. Marty the Moth able to duck out of the way. And Buffalo Brew ducking out of the way as well. And splashed by the Buffalo, throwing Marty down to the canvas. Able to get a little bit of reprieve here while the Moth gets to his feet. Oh, and the oh, rep is down. No. How dare that referee get in the way of the Buffalo Brew? Doesn't he know you don't stand in front of a Buffalo when he's charging? Casals moving out of the way at the last second, and Buffalo Brew taking out the ref, trying to... Looks like he's trying to see if he's okay, but Marty going to the ropes. Big shoulder tackle by Casals. And trying to go, got a full Nelson. Full Nelson slam! That ref doesn't look fully with it, though. Come and on, Marty Buffalo. Going, trying Let's to go, bro. Get hup, hup. some momentum Wait a minute. here. Wait a, minute. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. There he is. That's the prosecutor. That's the prosecutor that we've been talking about. And this match has ended in a no contest. The prosecutor coming out here and costing Marty the Moth Casas a shot at the NRW Championship. We got J.K. Pop out here. J.K. Pop coming to the aid of Marty Casales. Are we in bizarro land right now? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. This is a whole lot of action happening at once. What does J.K. Pop have to do with any of this, quite frankly? Well, I think course, Marty had it handled up by himself in there with that two versus one. Or of course, J.K. Pop has issues with the prosecutor and thinks that it has a lot to do with Preston Skidmore kind of taking his side. And of course, we saw last week how Preston Skidmore had all those weapons and didn't give none of that to J.K. Pop. I'm sure they took that personally. And this is just crazy to me, seeing J.K. Pop coming to the aid of Marty Casales. Well, Bruce still leaves with the championship here tonight, and quite frankly, that's all that matters. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for this week. Join us next week for more action here on 
Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. We'll see you then.